dear students in the last class we had studied about uh, uh, three words like entrepreneurship enterprise and entrepreneur and i had said that in studying the subject entrepreneurship development we also have to study a little detail about the word entrepreneur because we should know who is an entrepreneur i am sure that you might have heard entrepreneur and uh, many times you have uttered entrepreneur entrepreneur he is a good entrepreneur and uh, i want to be entrepreneur now who is that entrepreneur so let's uh, move with uh, some topics so that you will understand so concept of entrepreneur so before understanding uh, who is an entrepreneur let's uh, understand let's study the concept, uh, origin of entrepreneur the term entrepreneur is derived from a french word so that means the beginning of word entrepreneur is from the france so entreprendre the word entrepreneur has come from the word entreprendre that is to undertake the meaning is to undertake this word has been used since ages but its meaning is changing over the time it's not the same it has not remained so that time it was to take undertake something that is called enter enter prendre so in early 16th century entrepreneurs was the term used for the persons engaged in military journey so those who are going for military because uh, you know that military is uh, taking some risk of their life itself so it's a kind of undertaking for that it is used in the beginning so that time it was called for them entrepreneurs entrepreneurs so later on in the 17th century it was expanded for the persons engaged in engineering activities so some special activities those who are doing and uh, those who are going for a construction work so it was only restricted to the engineer doing for, the, for them it was called entrepreneurs and in the beginning of the 18th century entrepreneur refers to the persons engaged in the economic activities now it has come in the 18th century the beginning of the word entrepreneur for the businessman has come up and therefore entrepreneur has changed over the time from the person engaged in military expeditions to the economic activities from the military now it is used for the businessman i hope you got it the little background of the word entrepreneur so let's move with the some more understanding of the word entrepreneur so entrepreneur literally means the person who innovate the new things to earn profits as a reward by organizing the factors of production and breaking the risk organizing factors of production and breaking the risk why he does that to earn the profits to earn the profits as a reward so such person is called as entrepreneur the term entrepreneur was first coined by richard cantillon who used this word was richard cantillon that time it was not a businessman so uh, sorry that time he understood that in a different sense for the economic activity a french baker so in the 18th century to mean a person who is uncertainty bearer so he has understood that entrepreneur means a person who is uncertainty bearer and that was used in the 18th century by a frenchman richard cantillon an irish living in the france it is uh, it is not a, he is not a origin of the france he is uh, from irish ireland living in the france was the first person who used the term entrepreneur for the economic activities you know in the 15th century itself the word was used but it was not used for the businessman not for the economic activities rather for the military expeditions now the next man who developed this word was the j b c so another frenchman so everything regarding the word entrepreneur was constant in the france so expanded cantillon's cantillon's ideas and said that entrepreneur is an organizer who combines various factors of production to produce a socially viable product 
any person who is organizing all the factors of production and producing something is called entrepreneur this is the exact meaning of the word entrepreneur what we, what we are using today so let's move with the some more definition so that we will understand the word entrepreneur very easily so an entrepreneur is the agent who buys means of production at certain prices in order to combine into a product that he is going to sell at prices that are uncertain at the moment at which he commits himself to his cause he is the first man who had developed the word richard cantillon and he has given the definition so entrepreneur is an agent he is a agent who buys means of production so what is buys the raw materials resources what are required for the production that he says first then he is going to sell at the prices that are uncertain at the moment so he brings the means of production and produces the product and sells it to the uh, uncertain in the future so and for this he commits himself to his cost he sees that his cost what he has incurred will get back so this is the definition given by the richard cantillon he is the first man second man we know that jb say who developed this word he has also has given a definition so an entrepreneur is the economic agent this word you want to say he is a economic agent he unites all means of production all means of production now labor the capital land who finds the value of a product which results from their employment the reconstruction of the entire capital that he utilizes and the value of wages the interest and the rent that he pays as well as profit belonging to himself so he does the business not only uh, simply to get just the cost but even the profit so entrepreneur is the economic agent who so unites all the means of production and produces some product and gets back what he has incurred for the means of production and a margin of the profit that person is called entrepreneur according to jb say let's move with some more definitions so another definition given by the uh, joseph schumpeter so this is another man entrepreneur is one who seeks to reform or revolutionize the pattern of production by exploiting an innovation or more generally an untried technical possibility for producing a new commodity or producing an old one in new in a new way by opening up a new source of supply of material or a new outlet of products see in this definition what you see is one word one specialization that is innovation new way so new outlet uh, new sources what is uh, stressing is uh, entrepreneur is not a simple man he is thinking always something new innovation he is stressing so either new product or the same product is producing in a new technical way or putting up that in a new outlet just presenting something new something new always you know, that is the idea of schumpeter so one who is always thinking of something new is an entrepreneur according to joseph schumpeter i hope you understand this definition so finally we have another important definition peter f trucker so peter f trucker an entrepreneur is one who always searches for change responds to it and exploits it as an opportunity innovation is considered as an instrument of entrepreneurship an entrepreneur innovates and creates resources because there is no such thing as a resource until somebody finds a use for something and endows economic value to it innovation is being presented as a discipline capable of being learned and capable of being practiced so his idea of entrepreneur is also something uh, that a person who is searching for change that is also innovation so exploits is an opportunity opportunity seeker so he is opportunity seeker and innovation is considered an instrument of entrepreneurship so without innovation there is no entrepreneur so an entrepreneur innovates and creates resources because there is no such thing as a resource until somebody finds a use for something and endows economic value to it so something is producing to and giving to the uh, 
uh, uh, user that is the idea of a peter f drucker let's move with the understanding of the concept entrepreneur with the different angles so classified understanding of an entrepreneur so different angles there are so entrepreneur can be called as a risk bearer entrepreneur can be called as a organizer entrepreneur can be called as a innovator so how we will understand so entrepreneur as a risk bearer entrepreneur as a organizer one who is organizing the means of production is called as a entrepreneur one who is taking the risk is called as a entrepreneur one who is innovator is called entrepreneur we have understood already from the different uh, different definitions that we have learned now let us have a elaborative um, understanding so entrepreneur as a risk bearer in 18th century richard cantillon defined entrepreneur as a capitalist according to him entrepreneurship is a matter of foresight and willingness to assume risk he defined defined entrepreneur as an agent who buys factors of production at certain prices in order to combine them into a product with a view to selling it to a at a uncertain price in the future so this is a definition what the this one uh, richard cantillon had given we know that he is a agent who is buying the factors of production the resources means of production and he is uh, combining them putting in them order that means he is producing he is much of speaking about the this one what he call uh, uh, various types of uh, resources brought together and uh, Uh, assembled together so assembling business is concentrated here the assembled and product has come out and he is selling that at a uncertain price he doesn't know in the future what will be the price but he has brought many items now take example uh, entrepreneur according to him entrepreneur is one who buys the tires uh, iron motor seat and out of this he produces one car and he is selling it now what is his aim is what he has incurred for all those uh, factors of production and a kind of profit he has to get back that is the uncertain price what he is going to sell in the future so he illustrated with the help of an example now example he has given say a farmer has to pay contractual incomes which are certain to the landlords and laborers and sells at prices that are uncertain so a farmer has to pay contractual incomes which are certain to the landlords and laborers now one who has purchased one land he has to pay something to the landlord something to the this one uh, what you call laborers then he has to produce a crop he also explains that so with the merchants who to make certain payments in expectation of uncertain risks so a farmer or merchant both are considered as risk bearing agent of production so he is producing something and he is going to sell it to the merchant and he is not sure that what he is going what he has to pay to the landlord and the laborers is getting back or not that is called the risk involved therefore entrepreneur is always automatically risk bearer what he is putting that spending he is not sure that he is going to get back therefore risk bearer and he is giving a example of the farming so agriculture he doesn't uh, now farmer doesn't have a land he is taking from a landlord he uh, cultivates a crop sells to the merchant utilizes the laborers and may, he has to pay so not sure of uh, this this is called the risk bearer continuation f h knight he is another uh, person who has given the definition also also described entrepreneur as a specialized group of persons who bear risk he says specialized group of persons who bear risk and ready to face uncertainty now you word uh, now the word difference between risk and uncertainty you should be aware say uncertainty means in the future what is happening going to happen you are not aware so same is a risk but at the same time sometimes uncertainty is not the risk so uncertainty cannot be insured against the future contingencies and is incalculable uh, knight differentiate ordinary risk with uncertainty so he has defined ordinary risk with the uncertainty so according to him a risk can be reduced by taking the insurance policy where the occurrence of something is known on the other side uncertainty is the risk which cannot be calculated thus knight describes an entrepreneurs as the economic functionary who undertakes such a responsibility of uncertainty which cannot be insured see now uh, for example uh, in the take the example of the farming 
so farming okay you know that this much uh, crop will come if you have uh, planted this much and uh, that on this basis you calculate and you go for insurance and something happened calamities might have come disasters may take place and such things you can claim it from the insurance whatever losses but sometimes some uncertainty you are not sure at all now uh, you are uh, producing the uh, petrol cars and tomorrow uh, automatically some new technology has come and what you have produced is not at all useful nobody is buying so what are you going to do everything is uh, lost so uh, that's why he says entrepreneur as a risk bearer so let, let's move to the next uh, uh, concept entrepreneur as a organizer so now you see uh, he has said first primarily oh, uh, richard cantillon he is as a risk bearer now jb say has said entrepreneur as a organizer jb say a french economist also developed further the concept of entrepreneur which survived for almost two centuries he associates entrepreneur with the functions of uh, coordination organization and supervision say was the first economist to differentiate the function and remuneration of entrepreneur for, from those of the capitalist he emphasized coordination and supervision and recognized entrepreneur as the most important agent of production as he brings together this word you have to keep in mind brings together other productive factors and provides continuity of management what jb says all concentration is a he is a man who is a, putting together all the factors of production and organizing them in a such a way to bring out a product so organizing the various factors of production is the concentration according to jb say so he says a entrepreneur is a person who is combining putting together bringing together organizing the factors of production therefore he becomes a organizer further we'll say something more about the entrepreneur as organizer so according to say entrepreneurship is the combination of three factors moral qualities for the work consisting of judgment perseverance and knowledge of business environment that is one factor he says command over capital resources and effective utilization and administration to overcome uncertainty of profits so all these three aspects factors are combined he says thus says entrepreneurship's economic resources out of an area of lower productivity into an area of higher productivity and greater yield marshall during 1936 also focused the relevance of organization among the various services of special class of business undertakers so what is these people now marshall uh, jb say they all concentrated as a entrepreneur means he is a man of organizing things and now we'll see the final understanding of entrepreneur entrepreneur as innovator during 1934 shum peter this is another person who has given the definitions of uh, entrepreneurship in his uh, manum opus theory of economic development highlighted the role of entrepreneur as innovator so he has called that innovator in his definitions we already mentioned and we already saw that innovation aspects he is stressing something new something change so according to him entrepreneur is basically an innovator who carries out new combinations of factors of production to initiate and accelerate the process of economic development innovations may be occurred in any of the following forms say he has given already last time i have in the definition we saw introduction new product in the market something new bringing out or introducing new methods of production you are producing the same item but uh, process uh, is changed opening a new market opening up a new market so selling at a new market discovering new sources of raw material you are producing the same thing selling in the same market but uh, out of different raw materials carrying of new organization of any industry a starting up new industry of the for the same product same procedure so you see something newness in a different ways he is planning so in a five angles he sees the new things so therefore entrepreneur is a innovator and every time a businessman you see today they will see the same things either to produce something new or the same product in a new way or the same product with the different using different materials or to sell in a new place or uh, this one uh, discovering the uh, 
new or uh, starting up a new venture so all these aspects are already a base for the intro innovator yes so shim peter differentiates between inventor and an innovator so inventor is different innovator is different according to him an inventor is one who discovers new factors of production like men material machine and methods of an innovator utilizes these inventions and discoveries to make new combinations of factors of production so there is a distinction between innovator and inventor inventor is extremely bringing out something new that which is not existing at all innovator is just taking a step to create something new so he argued on the fact that the entrepreneur may or may not be the inventor and therefore he may or may not be supplier of capital major different difference between the inventor and inventor innovator is that the former creates inventor creates idea and the latter gets it converted into reality this you must remember inventor and innovator major difference is inventor creates the idea and innovator converts the idea into reality inventor having a just idea he may not do it in practical he may give you just the theory but a innovator is a person who has to put in act put into action that's the difference given by the shumpeter however shumpeter's theory is based on certain assumptions like prevalence of capitalist society with private property private initiative money and banking system etc the applicability of his theory is doubtful in under developed countries where the poor infrastructure and lack of capital may block the innovativeness so these are the things regarding the innovate this uh, entrepreneur as innovator so we saw entrepreneur in different angles entrepreneur is a risk bearer some say entrepreneur as organizer and other few say entrepreneur is a innovator and others so so and you know all the ways it is uh, one thing is correct that uh, entrepreneur is a person who is related with the economic activities let's move with the further uh, explanation Uh, what are the motivating factors for entrepreneurs now to become entrepreneur to take a risk to be organized to innovate there should be a kind of motivation so there are some factors makes a uh, person to start a business now entrepreneur means in simple words i can say a businessman so a businessman to be a businessman how what what thing motive one is education background the knowledge acquired through the various courses provided by the institutions has motivated entrepreneurs to step into the business entrepreneurs feel confident while entering into the business of their education field now take example see now you all of you are studying entrepreneurship development and i am encouraging you learn something about starting up of a business so i have said already in my previous classes when i am giving you the introduction to this subject all have to jot down write down make a one plan of the business and submit to me so that is there as your assignment now what i want to say is sometimes what the business that they have thought as a student when they are studying either mb or mcom that itself they may feel to put into the practice and into the reality and even it may happen in your lives also so educational background second family background the family businesses motivate the entrepreneurs to join businesses in india different entrepreneurs have continued their uh, forefathers business for example mukesh ambani ratan tata aditya birla etc they are uh, from uh, family their family is continuing with the business itself and even in a local levels we know that father's business will be continued by the son and many even a small shop sometimes a father had a shop son is continuing and his son is continuing it may go go on so family background education and background then desire to do something new people have urge to do something new and creative the strong desire to be innovative and creative promotes entrepreneurship among the population so sometimes people are uh, just ambitious to do some business such people also do, uh, such things also a mode business experience large experience in a particular field makes the people aware of that field therefore entrepreneurs feel motivated to enter into uh, the fields in which they have the rich experience i do know one person was a manager in uh, one of the lighting uh, company uh, for example i'll tell you uh, canara lighting uh, company is there 
and in that there was a manager he was looking after all the business and later he felt that he should have his own business so of the same nature then he started lexha lighting uh, company so lexha lighting company today he has come out with that just uh, idea what he had fr uh, framed from his work experience so business experience what he had let's move with another definition this another point government assistance and support government provides support to the entrepreneurs in different ways such as providing loans to low interest rates tax concessions leasing schemes export assistance etc assistance from the end of the government motivates people to become entrepreneurs sometimes what happens is entrepreneurship developed just because government is giving some concession giving some land or some facility such times people just feel that let me begin with encouragement from big business houses the success stories of the large business as motivate the people to become entrepreneur moreover the large businessman encourages the people to become entrepreneurs sometimes what happens is the big entrepreneurs call for the smaller people to develop their entrepreneurship skills i know ideal chickens in mangalore there is a ideal chicken and they are telling to any people so we'll supply you the feed and the chicken and you just grow and give back so that what happens is a, a kind of interest of entrepreneurship is created in the uh, people so that in the later stages they may grow as a big entrepreneurs also no doubt in that easy availability of raw material and labor easy availability of the raw material and labor at cheap rates motivates the people to become entrepreneurs as it makes the business little easy sometimes what happens is means of production the factors of productions are available so you feel that why should i waste let me do it now for example uh, you are at home nothing was grown in your land and you feel the oh there is a so much of land vacant why can't i do it so then you begin your agriculture business so profit margins many people become entrepreneurs for earning more money so earning money is one of the most factor, motivating factors so today most of the business people those who have entered to the into the business with a profit making interest only so everybody wants to make the profit so some more points we have here promising demand of the product or service there is an increasing demand for some goods and services therefore entrepreneurs find their paths is in establishing business for such products and services sometimes a person feels that oh there is a demand for a particular product why can't i produce why can't i do it why can't i go for that that kind of the attitude will develop job security over population and unemployment is the one of the most challenging problem in india as the population is growing there is more and more risk of unemployment moreover people don't feel secure with their jobs because of the availability of large number of skilled population therefore people prefer to become entrepreneurs so sometimes now we going for job it is unsecure you don't know today now during the corona time itself you are know that many people lost their jobs many people are helpless they don't have they have nothing to eat so at least you have the, your own self employment a kind of business then that will be a, a better idea for some that is the understanding then social prestige in india entrepreneurs are seen with the respect so people get in motivated to become entrepreneurs to gain social respect if you are just a employer then you have a lesser social respect you know that okay only the teachers have a higher respect in the society calling as a he, ah, he is a master he is a teacher but others why otherwise in the for a common man for going any jobs and all they don't have a high social respect but business people will get the high social respect with that they may grow so these are the motivating factors for the entrepreneurship so today in this uh, this class i made a attempt to explain you something about the entrepreneurship and uh, sorry entrepreneur word and uh, the motivating factors of entrepreneurship in the next class i will be explaining some more things about the entrepreneurship that is uh, uh characteristics of entrepreneur and the functions of entrepreneur so there i will close the word entrepreneur then we'll be moving with other uh, issues of the first chapter thank you